Do you do incest clickbait? Yeah, no shit, I do incest clickbait. Like, it's it's funny for me. Yeah, 90% of the time when I make a video on someone, it's just for fun. It's for your entertainment. Look at this guy lying about a video game that doesn't even exist. Oh my god. What a liar. Although I gotta say he's quite sexy. This guy is making fake videos with his girlfriend and he includes his mom a lot. A lot. All the time. A true mama's boy. All in all, just beautiful. <laughs> Look at this guy flexing even though he's making videos talking to Pikachu. Hey, Pika Pika with a lightning emoji. Or what about the guy who actually called God? And he just answered, you're welcome my son. I love your videos. God's actually a fan, guys. We got God as a fan. Okay, I'm not a fan of this one. And I actually don't believe that the God right here was real. Flippin' liar. Holy shit, it is Jesus! The point is, I talk about these people to make you guys laugh for entertainment. However, when it comes to this guy... Hello everyone, how are you doing? My name is Kami and welcome back to my channel, What's Good? Can't stand him. Is it a hate video? Yes. Demonetize me. See if I care. You think I can't eat homeless packs for a week? Try me. Support me on Patreon, guys. Uh, I really want to focus on this channel a little bit more, but I can't because of financial reasons, so... If you would support me on Patreon, I would upload more. And I would stop eating homeless packs. Fat people need food too, I don't know. Yeah, meat touch delight. There are loads of reasons I cannot stand them. Let's get the horse out of the bag and let's start with the biggest one. I do incest clickbait, like it's it's funny for me. He uploaded a video called Truth or Dare with my little sister. You may think it's actually cute. Oh my god, guys. Oh my god, you guys. He's making a video with his little sister. That's like the cutest thing ever. Guys, like these are just my favorite. This is the thumbnail. Uh, you should probably reconsider your thoughts. I mean, excuse me, but this is where I say what the freak. Or what about a video called She Let Me Touch Them. Oh my god, this guy has a girlfriend. There's someone for everyone. My little sister let me touch them. Oh, so why are people actually liking this video? Are people actually being like, man, I wish I had a sister like this. This is something you should not say. We love being relatable. There's a lot of ex extravaganza on his channel and you may remember this guy from a video called strip fortnite with my 13 year old sister incest underage sexualized clickbait plus four it doesn't get any bigger than this holy shit i'm pretty sure uncle jerry subscribed i should point out that it's actually not his sister it's his friend another youtuber and they decided that the best way to reach the best audience possible is to say that I'm doing a strip Fortnite with my sister. Me and my 13 year old sister are gonna be playing Fortnite and if I get a kill, she has to take something off of me. Come just on. do it, just do it, I run up, run up. He got a lot of backlash for this video. He deleted the video and even apologized saying that he's the worst human being ever. He hates himself. Feel free to hate on me. Pretty relatable. I feel so bad for people that are so triggered by what I've done. I know for a fine fact there's gonna be so many people making videos on me. Fair enough, have your fun. I'm, I'm glad you got content, you know what I mean? Like, thanks, you're welcome. But now, a few months later, he's doing it again. This time, he got called out by Keemstar, and instead of apologizing again, he decided that, you know what? I'm, I'm a good guy right right here. You're constantly posting weird videos. You do incest clickbait. Yeah, no shit. I do incest clickbait. Like, it's it's funny for me. I literally pretend my 18-year-old friend is my sister and people literally get triggered about it. When people get triggered about my shit, I get money and I get views. Like, there's a reason I actually do it. All of you guys are just pussies. You don't understand. Like, you can't even take a joke, guys. The more triggered people I attract, the more money and clout I get. Like, think about it wisely. I have people like Keemstar constantly on my d chatting sh** to me. Keemstar, if you're watching, you're a massive pussy. Like, you're such a pussy. You are literally an old, ugly man chatting sh** about people on YouTube. Like, you have nothing going for you. All of you people, like, you can't even take a joke, guys. Like, Keemstar is such a pussy, man. Like, he, he doesn't understand what we do right here we gucci we supreme and we gucci right here guys like oh my god stuck a dildo up my ass you're a bit creepy i wouldn't be surprised if keemstar has touched little children but like we're not going to talk about that dude 
This is the exact accusation that people would love to use against you. And they would be kinda right. And I know what you're thinking. You clickbait incest. Yeah, no shit. But like, ask me if I care. This video of him responding to Keemstar just proves that his first apology is just nothing more than just him trying to save his ass. Just another example of YouTubers being sorry because they got caught. Now, I don't think people's channels should get terminated. But we see normal people getting deleted off YouTube. Well, then why am I seeing this in my recommended all the time? I'm not into it. Now, of course, that's not the only reason I cannot stand this guy. His videos are just... <laughs> They're just bad. I watched a few of them and oh boy are we dealing with the most annoying person on the planet. I've been super drunk all day and now I'm filming a video so I guess you can say I'm drunk, haha raw xd. Isn't that just the most annoying thing in the world? You can say I'm drunk, haha raw xd. I hate this guy. Imagine carrying a baby for 9 months and this is what you hear. You can say I'm drunk, haha raw xd. I wanna bully this guy. I, I really cannot stand him. He uploads the most crazy shit I've ever seen. I want to show you this old video of him called My Morning Routine. Why? 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 So the video is pretty much just him showing off his body and his expensive underwear to his underage audience. And here's me laughing at the fact that some people think I actually care about their opinions. He also uploaded a video called Um popular opinions. Oh my god, I cannot wait to hear these unpopular opinions from the most basic bitch I've ever seen. My first unpopular opinion is that British YouTubers literally suck dick. Like, they're all so boring. Well, yes. I, I agree with that one. Double denim is sexy. He's the most annoying person ever. I'm gonna try and set a photo here or some shit. Yeah, you look like that type of guy who would Clickbait his sister's boobs, she keep touching them and shit. Ugh. Jojo Siwa is the grossest thing I've ever seen in my life. How this bitch gonna be turning 16 soon and she acts like a four year old girl? Wow. <laughs> that, that was pretty harsh. I'm not a biggest fan of her, obviously, but. That was a bit harsh. How this is gonna be turning 16 soon and she acts like a four year old girl? Relax, dude. When you make videos like this, you should probably shut the fuck up. No thanks. That is some weird, creepy ass sh. You should stay far away from roasting people. I wish that was the case, but he's even making videos exposing people. I feel like the only reason she did it was because her fans are so young they don't care either way. No matter how someone fucks up, it doesn't matter at this point. You will always be the guy who uploaded videos like this. Always. You have no word in this community. You will always be worse than the person you're talking about. I'm drunk, haha, raw XD. What I got for Christmas from my rich parents. Prada, Rolex. Ow, I've got something in my eye. I think it's all the money my parents wasted on me this Christmas. I can't believe I'm saying this, but this guy actually makes me like rice gum. So in this video, he's just showing off all his Christmas presents that he got from his rich parents. And at the end of it, he even shows that he got a brand new car. Now, in this case, you would probably be shocked. Like, you would be amazed. Oh my god, I got a car as a present? I'm such a lucky, spoiled, rich fuck. No, he just treated like he got a pack of gum. This is the car that he basically insured me on. Like, it's okay, it's pretty dope. Even his dumb audience didn't like it. His fans are obviously children, so when they see the spoiled fuck getting a car and not being excited at all, they probably get really sad. I got this for Christmas, and I was excited, but this guy, this spoiled fuck, got a car for Christmas and he's not even excited. How am I supposed to feel about this? And I'm not saying that it's offensive, you should not show it to children. I'm just saying that he's a spoiled, rich, annoying fuck. A perv. Ow, I've got something in my eye. I think it's all the money my parents wasted on me this Christmas. Anyway, like I've said, I don't want channels to get terminated, but in this case, I would be so okay with it. Anyway, Thanks for watching the video. If you want to support the channel, make sure to support me on Patreon. Like I've said, I really want to focus on this channel, but I kind of can't because of financial uh, reasons. So if you want to help me out, thank you very much. If you don't, that's completely fine. Leave a like, subscribe if you didn't, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And what's the moral of this video? Well, don't touch the light because if you do, 
you might get hit by underage clickbait. You can say, I'm drunk, haha, raw, XD. You're constantly posting weird videos. You do incest clickbait. Yeah, no shit, I do incest clickbait. Like, it's it's funny for me. I literally pretend my 18-year-old friend is my sister and people literally get triggered about it. When people get triggered about my shit, I get money and I get views. Like, there's a reason I actually do it. The more triggered people I...